In this video, we are going to learn three scientific facts regarding ancient India that will blow your mind. Watch this video till the end because it's my request to comment that did you get fascinated after seeing the three facts. We are always fascinated by the skies. I have often wondered what the ancient people felt when they saw the skies filled with twinkling stars. Let's begin with the moon. On a clear full moon night, if we ever gaze at the serene beauty of the moon, one thing we will conclude is that the moon is white. Moon is white. Every normal person on earth would definitely come into the conclusion after seeing the moon that the moon is white. Still, thousands of years ago, as far as the Atharva Veda, there is a slok in it which says Chandra Madhi Krishnam. Chandra means the moon, Madhi, soil, Krishna meaning black. They said that the soil of the moon is black. How can that be true? But this was verified only when humans physically landed on the moon. We got a sample from there and we realized, oh my god, really the lunar soil is black. Many people would argue that this must be a coincidence, but in reality, it is really not a coincidence. It's an insight. It's, it's deep thought. For a long time since antiquity, people thought that the earth was flat. The concept that the earth is round was first mentioned by the Greeks of the 5th century BC. This is what we are taught in school. If you check out the Sanskrit word for earth is Bhugol. Bhu is Bhumi, the earth and Gol is round. Sanskrit is a language used in India for 7 to 8 or maybe 10,000 years and Sanskrit term for the earth which was known to every little child in India was Bhugol. It proves that we knew that the earth is round for thousands of years by the very nomenclature. The other word for earth is Jagat, this ki gati hai, that which moves. This means in ancient India, the earth was never considered stationary. The Sanskrit word to describe our solar system is Surya Malika. Surya meaning the sun, the Malika meaning garland. So we knew way back that the sun is in the center of our solar system and the planets are moving around the sun like a garland. Even if we look at the Navgraha Mandals placed in ancient Hindu temples, we will see that the sun is at the center. We already had a heliocentric model of the solar system and the rest of the world believe that the entire solar, all the planets, the entire solar system revolved around the earth, keeping earth in the center of the universe. Still, we are taught that this was discovered by Copernicus during the Renaissance. We know that the nearest star to earth is our sun. But we take sun for granted. So we said that the nearest star to our solar system is Proxima Centauri in Centaurus constellation. It is only 4.2 light years away from our earth. Do you know what our ancients called Proxima Centauri? Mitra. Mitra means friend, one who is close. You see our ancients called the near star Mitra. This means they knew it was the nearest star. This also means that they knew the difference between planets and stars. India is the only civilization where science and spirituality were never at loggerheads with each other. In fact, all our scientists were saints. This video has been made with collaboration with the ultimate science innovators. This is a pretty good channel which covers topics like space science, scientific facts, innovative ideas and much much more. I prefer you to visit this channel and have a look. 
it's a really good channel how did you feel after seeing this video please tell me in the comment section and if you liked this video then please like and subscribe to this channel so that i can bring more such interesting videos and facts before you thank you